Hello everyone, this is Mr. Chase and today I'm showing you how to make an explosive block that explodes if it's right clicked, if it's right clicked on the flint and steel, or if it um, or if it actually has redstone power leading up to it. Um, all three of them are very simple, all you have to do is just change one little procedure line. Let's get right into this. So what we have to do first is just create a basic block. Super simple, let's just call this explosive. There we go. I'll just use this texture right here. So that is the only texture I have for a block right now. This stuff does not really matter um, at all, really. You can change this to whatever you want. Um, I recommend that you go check out the tutorial for a block. It is pretty outdated, though. So some things are different. I'll be doing a updated um, tutorial pretty soon, actually, on how to make a block. Just because lots of things actually have changed. Uh, it should be appearing in iCard where my mouse is uh, pretty soon. So all you have to do now is skip everything else, just go to the triggers. And first it's gonna be one right clicked. This is the simplest one. Just uh, just click on the green plus on block right clicked. Um, click create procedure, go to the um, world management, and then explode. And there we go. Very, very simple. Now we're gonna copy this and we'll call this flint and steel explosive there you go same thing and i'll just call this flint and steel explosive there you go and now instead we're going to create a new procedure we're going to we're going to go back to world management and we're going to go to explode with power for we're not going to put it on yet first we're going to do is we're going to go to flow control and go to the if we'll put that in the do part of uh, the if do block and now we're going to go to entity procedures Scroll down to item and main hand of target entity, the wrong one, I just got a big lag spike right there. There we go. Now we want to go to logic. We're going to take this red block right here, place it in the if, place item and main hand of target entity in the first block, and then go to Minecraft components, go to this run, which also corresponds with the same color. My friend's inviting me, and also speaking of my friend, he actually has a YouTube channel, it's called Falcon, link in the description. Um, to his channel. He has a great channel. He's just starting off. He only has some subscribers, but I definitely go recommend that you go check him out because he has a pretty cool channel. So here we go. Now all we have to do is just go to Flint and Steel. And then what we can do is we can actually go here and deal damage to item stack because I'm pretty sure when we actually light, um, when we actually light TNT, it will actually deal damage to the Flint and Steel. But there we go. Right there. So all we need to do now, what we have to do, okay, so it actually is missing dependencies. Hold on. Okay, I think, I don't think we can actually have the deal damage to provide an item stack. Or what we can actually do, what we're going to do is we're actually going to duplicate item in main hand of target entity. And that should fix it. Does that work now? Yes, that does work. So you cannot have it in, you actually have to damage the main hand of target entity. We'll see model and there we go. And we're just gonna copy this um, another time. This right here is going to be the redstone explosive. Explosive. There we go. Same texture and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna rename it so I actually know which one this is. Redstone explosive. There we go. We'll go back to triggers. And all we have to do is go redstone on and we're gonna select. Um, our first procedure, which is explosive block right clicked, because this is going to be the exact same thing. And just as an extra bonus one, we're going to be making a basically a landmine. And this, whenever you walk on it, is going to explode. There we go. We're going to go back to triggers, and we're going to go when entity walks on block. And then let me actually stop the client because I actually had Minecraft running already. So all you have to do is just click the green arrow to actually test this out. We don't actually have to export the mod to test out. You can actually click this green arrow. I don't think I actually said that in most of my recent tutorials, but that's actually a very helpful tool if you don't want to actually have to export the mod, clicking that. And so yeah, let's just wait for this to update. You can also create your own textures. I recommend using Nova Skin, also linked in the description down below. Um, so you can create your own high quality textures. Um, right now, they only have it updated to 1.10 texture, um, so texture, like, like, the textures we can modify. 
because I don't think they're actually continuing to update it, but I still use it because I personally like it. It's a great tool for creating your own textures. It's just not updated. So you won't have any of the updated textures. For the updated textures, what I recommend that you do is you actually take a copy from the Minecraft assets and then you put it into there, but that will be a whole other tutorial coming also pretty soon. As you can see here, if we just go to our blocks, you can see all of our explosives here. Let's get some flint and steel and also maybe a redstone torch. There we go. Now it's time to show off all these explosives. The first one, you can just right click on it and it explodes just like that. Flint and steel explosive explodes just like that. So you can click on it, nothing happens. The redstone explosive, you can't light it. Also, you can't click on it. You actually have to ignite it with redstone. And then the landmine explosive, we walk on it and it explodes. We can't actually right click on it. So yeah, that is basically four very simple explosives that you can easily make an M creator. All it requires is a block and also um, just a couple of procedures. I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're on my channel, we really appreciate it if you were to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye, guys. Okay, so actually, as I re as, um, actually as I realized um, right now I'm editing my video, I realized that these actually drop themselves when it explodes. Let me show you how to fix that. All you have to do is just go to properties and make it so that it does not drop. Make sure it goes drop them out um, zero, and hopefully this should work. I'll see you guys in game. So now that we're in the game, let me just quickly get the explosive here. And so now it should not drop itself. Wrong one, that's my other block that I made in a previous tutorial. There we go, you can see it does not drop. So that is the solution to fix that problem. Um, but if that does not work um, for some reason, there's one more solution to that. And that is to actually go to the procedure over here. And on top of that, the dude's going to go to block procedures and we're going to place block at XYZ and just change this to air. That's really all you have to do just to fix that. But if that, um, if this doesn't work by not dropping itself, then that should probably work like about 90% of the time. And if for some reason that doesn't work, I don't really know how to help you go ask the wiki. Um, if you do need help, I'll just actually leave a link to the wiki on your comment or I'll leave it in the description below. Right now, there is a, actually a lot of links in the description right now. So it could get a little bit compli complicated. <laughs> I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye, guys.